I think it's safe to say that across any of the major social media platforms that you end up using on a daily basis, say that be YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be, there's always that appeal of seeing a verified account. And again, I think it's a safe bet to say that we've all been there at one point in time, at least, in which we think, man, that'd be cool to have that prestige of being a verified account, of being able to have that check mark next to your name so that everyone knows that you're legit, you're the real deal, you have a reason to be verified. That's one of those things that has kind of engulfed the minds of a lot of people that use social media every day, and even if you're not one of those people that actively think about it, it's probably crossed your mind at some point in time. Now, the cool thing with Call of Duty World War II is that as of recently, we found out that this can actually happen in game. This can have your gamer tag, your PSN ID, or your Steam ID on PC, you can have this verified within Call of Duty World War II. Now, this is something that doesn't necessarily follow the same parameters as a normal social media account, simply because this one is probably a little more trivial compared to the standards that need to be met for, say, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all those kind of other different places. They're looking for validity to keep somebody's identity protected in the sense that it's them acknowledged as such. But in Call of Duty World War II, we found out as of recently that social Social score can get you verified within Call of Duty World War II. So today in this one, we're we'll talking about just how this happens and potentially how you could maybe get to that a little bit faster if that's something you so want to set out for within the game. So interestingly enough, this actually stems from a little bit of a discussion and theory that's gone around the community since launch because there was mention in some vague mannerism of wording from Conjury about social score potentially affecting the contents of your supply drop. So Essentially, the theory and conspiracy behind this went that the higher social rank score you got, the better supply drops you'd end up getting. So, theoretically, let's say you're the top rank in social score, which, as from what I've seen detailed, is a social score rank of 20. That maybe guarantees you a couple more heroic weapons or outfits compared to somebody that is a level 5 in social score. That's how that theory went, and for the longest time, a lot of people bought into it. But, Kondry put this to rest over on Twitter probably about a week ago at this point in time. I know I'm late to the actual topic, but I want to discuss a little bit further than what some other people may. Conjury ended up saying that social score does not affect your supply drop loot. Social score is tier based and the higher the tier, the better rewards you earn, including some heroic weapon variant rewards and the top tiers get your ID or gamer tag verified. So while we end up getting the confirmation that of course social score does actually give you some nice drop loot, it's not via supply drops. It's essentially what you end up getting like the M1928 Wilco variant at the beginning, it's just the further along you progress, the more heroic things you can end up getting along those lines. But whenever you get to those higher rankings, of course, I think those are a little bit more warranted and a little bit more deserved because when you make the jump from some of the, say, double digit social score rankings, the amount of XP that is needed is honestly ridiculous if you ever look at it. Like the first couple of jumps in social score rank aren't that bad. Maybe you'll see say social rank 6 is 1500 social score required. Social rank 7 then would be 2500. So it's a 1000 social score increase there. But when you get to things like social score rank of 16 to 17, you end up needing to go from 50,000 social score to 75,000. Then for max rank from social score score 19 to 20, you need to go from 150,000 social score to 250,000. So it's definitely something that is absolutely insane, especially when each say commendation is only 25 XP towards your social score. It takes forever to rank up. So it's something that definitely is a grind and a process, but whenever you end up getting to those, of course, it does reward you accordingly for some of those. But that said, it doesn't actually affect your supply drop loot, but it does give us the idea that a verified gamer tag is out there. Now, Reddit user lacking a good name actually was the one that brought this up in its entirety because he ended up digging up the exact social score ranks and rewards in World War II, and the max, once again, being of 20, seems to be where we hit that verification process within World War II. And it's something that probably progressively, while it is going to be absolutely insane to hit, it might be something where people can progressively, as the year goes on, get more and more into that verified program of World War II. So it might start out exclusive at first, but then say maybe by the very end of the year, a lot of people will be verified on those leaderboards and their gamer tags as well that you can end up seeing in game. 
But as it stands right now, let's go over the last five here because this is where I think in our last video talking about social score ranks and rewards, we didn't end up getting up to these points because not everybody had them and nobody got the game code just yet, but these ones are dug up directly from the game code so they should be accurate and what exactly you get. Rank 15 is a social score required of 37,500 score with a reward of the Car 98K Nightmare variant. Social rank 16 is 50,000 social score required with a reward of a rare supply drop. 17 is a required score of 75,000 with a reward of 15,000 armory credits, which is of course definitely a nice little boost and bonus here. Social rank 18 is required of 100,000 social score with a home run emote as a reward, but right now that's actually broken, so it's going to be something that is addressed and updated in time. Then social rank 19 is a required score of 150,000, which rewards you with the bar or BAR Flyboy variants, and finally, social rank 20 requires 250,000 social score with the reward of hub underscore classified, which of course it's not implemented in the game just yet, but that is that highest tier ranking you can have. So, verification seems like it's on the horizon here to be added in and also confirmed to be that rank 20 reward. So, now that we defined what it was and how you can get it. How do we get there faster? Because surely 250,000 social score is an ungodly amount of social score. And it's something that having played once again through a month or so, and admittedly I haven't been able to play every single day for near as long as I'd like to because college and real life is a thing for me that does get in the way of my gaming experience, unfortunately. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that as well. But having now been through the game over a month at this point, it seems like I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I'm approaching just now social rank 10, in which I'm rewarded the Lewis Landship. And I'm definitely stoked for that one. I think it's definitely awesome. Instead of just, say, a calling card, it's actually something that I have the potential to actually use. And it's something that only requires 7,500 social score. But when I take a look at where I want to be at rank 20, the daunting task of getting another 243,000 social score, when I only have 7,500 in a month, well, that's a pretty big hill to climb. So there's a couple of different ways we can go about this in which we can hopefully expedite the process. And it's one that honestly is going to call on the community as a whole. It's not something that you personally can do and just speed through everything because that's almost impossible as it stands. So there's four different ways that I think we can come to this and gain XP for both ourselves and the community. And once again, kind of calling on everybody as a community, act as such in the headquarters. That's something that will definitely help everybody out. So the first one being supply drops. You can end up getting social score via watching and opening supply drops respectively, and you can get social score for each of those. So while I was working on a video, I wanted to detail a little bit of how we could end up breaking this down, what we could see a pattern of or something. And the unfortunate part after reviewing hours of footage is there's not really a discernible pattern. So that's kind of the unfortunate part, but it's something that definitely if you end up watching over time, you will get them and opening once again helps you out too. And one thing that I was thinking about that once again kind of calls on maybe a community out outrage here for this that everybody can set this up and hopefully it follows suit is a little bit of a circle method. Now, I actually thought about this a long while ago and honestly it was kind of perfect because I logged into headquarters today just to try and get some b-roll footage and the first thing that I saw was almost a complete variation of what I had envisioned in my mind and it's perfect because you can end up going to right around the quartermaster that designated flat area and maybe open supply drops in a circle that way people that can't open them are in a little bit of the center and can watch everybody at one time because by watching them, it is something that is proximity based. That's one thing that I did pick up on. So with everybody being in the same general vicinity, those opening them can get them while getting credit for opening and watching at the same time. And those that aren't can be there watching multiple at once to speed up that process. Sort of like a rapid fire cannon for gaining social score. So while it might be an ideal situation, if you can try and set it up, try and open your supply drops in a crowd of people with as many as possible, just so everybody can benefit. And if you're some that believes in karma, well, then by doing good there, maybe it'll in turn come back and help you out as well in the future. The next thing, though, is commending players. And again, this is one that really needs to be a community effort because there's a lot of people that do commending, but also a lot of people that are AFK. And while I understand the AFK situation, a lot of people just won't commend back. So if you can commend for commend, once again, hopefully putting out those positive vibes in the world, it's unfortunate that not everyone will do it. And someone on Reddit actually tallied the amount of commends they gave versus how many they 
they got, which was 960 given to 123 received. But if we can blow this up about how to do this as quick as possible and make it a community-wide effort, it'd be amazing to see a day where everyone is commending each other just back and forth and everybody's getting that social score that they need. Now, the final thing that really is sort of an organic way to do this is via orders. Some orders, while not many, do offer reward and social score. And while it's once again not something that really gives a lot anything really helps when you're trying to go for that grind goal. Some things, like the simple ones of the target range order in which you have to shoot 10 targets in 10 seconds, those take literally 10 seconds to complete, if not shorter. So just hop on those if you have the chance and try and boost it as much as possible. But ultimately it comes down to making the sacrifices in game because you're gonna have to stay in headquarters for a long time. You're gonna have to sacrifice the time that you could be grinding your multiplayer rank and if it's something that you definitely want to do, you gotta pick and choose which one is more valuable to you. Sometimes maybe though, even the AFK method can help out if you wanna just progress a little bit further and you don't have, say, the time to do it and stay in headquarters consistently. Like for me, my entire setup's within a few feet of each other, so if I need to edit a video or something, I can swivel over, take a look at my monitors to edit my videos while having my PlayStation 4 on there, and I'll hear the ping if somebody commends me, I can commend them back real quick, and it's just a sort of way that you can just stay involved even if you're not necessarily in there. Or say if you have your TV down in the basement that you play on and you want to watch some TV or say some sort of sporting events, whatever it may be, you can still be engaged in the headquarters, but you're just not actively watching it. So ultimately there are ways that we can end up doing this, but you're going to once again, just at the end of the day, spend a lot of time at headquarters. And it's one that once again, you don't necessarily need to be there for all of it, but you're definitely going to be sacrificing some time. You could be ranking up in multiplayer. So it's a pick and choose sort of situation, but definitely I think it does have a cool reward. But that said, I think that's where we're wrap it up. Hopefully this helped you out and clarified some things in some way, shape, or form for you. And if so, hopefully you guys enjoyed. But let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to go for verification in Call of Duty World War 2 or do you not necessarily care all that much about it? Is it something that is kind of a subsidiary thing that might be cool to maybe one day hit but you don't actually care too much for it? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War 2. We're going to be killing it with the content. And of course, if you guys are interested in anything regarding best class setups, tips, tricks, news, information, breakdowns, leaks, whatever it may be, we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. All that said, now to the I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Might as well espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.